you've beaten Arsenal once, but under Arteta, have they improved and how much tougher will this game be? Yeah, it is, yeah. Always uh, the uh, the bounce of a new manager coming into a football club, especially one as respected uh, as Macau, um, from his work that he's, that he's done. Uh, statistically, we've looked at... at uh, certain aspects of their game that they've definitely upped uh, in terms of ground duels, aerial duels, distances covered uh, from our point of view watching the games that he's that he's taken charge of more structured um, defensively tougher uh, more difficult to break down um, but still have got the, uh, the, the flair players that you would expect them to have uh, and as I said, when we played Manchester United, even though there might be a few questions about, you know, where they are in the transition, uh, it's the same with Arsenal. Um, it's still Arsenal, and it's still away at the Emirates, uh, and it's still, you know, uh, Lacazette, Ozil, uh, Pepe, all the players that they've got. It's still Arsenal away, so uh, an extremely tough proposition on on, on Saturday afternoon. No. Obama Yang though who's banned does that give you a bigger opportunity to go there and get a result well whoever they bring in is going to be a world class football as I said you know the players that they've, they, they, they've, they've bought the, I think there was a, a report come out this week about the, the value of, of, of players and uh, there was one club that was bottom of the pile and there was another club that was, was quite high up and uh, so that shows the amount that, that they've invested in the players Historically and recently as well, so whoever they bring in, um, even you know through academy or under twenty threes, they've still got some really good players. Got some good young players as well. Martinelli, who's coming to coming to into the group this year, you know, uh, onto the scene, he's been outstanding as well. So whatever uh, team they play, it's going to be a, a, a really strong one. A win would take you to thirty five points, which would have been enough to stay up last season. Does that highlight just how well your side are going at the moment? Uh, you know, um, I think it's a good. Sto- I think it's an outstanding news story so far. I'd love it to be uh, a brilliant story at the end of the season. I think it's one of the, the standout stories so far. Um, you know, newly promoted side coming up and playing the way we've played and the position that we're in, and uh, and, and how we've done it over the last two or three years. The way we've done it, the way we've done it from a financial point of view. But um, it's only a story now. Um, the key is to continue that on into the next 16 or 17 games. Um, and that's, go, that's the message to the players. Um, you know, great, done fantastically well. Don't think there's any doubt about that. You know, as I said, from a, from a story in the Premier League, obviously there's always going to be talk about the talk about, you know, Liverpool and the top two and, and, and Leicester. And for us to find ourselves in sixth position at this stage of the season is is, is quite remarkable, um, but it's only this stage of the season, and I'm I'm not into that. I'm into end of seasons reflection and how we've done. Still a lot of football to be played. Fixture list yet again is relentless. Um, you know, uh, Arsenal away, Manchester City at home, Crystal Palace away. So um, big challenges ahead of us. Uh, boys are going well and yet again the message and uh, and the ambition is to is to try and get a result in the next game in which we will, we will try to as much as we possibly can on, on Saturday On to transfers you told us last week that you were going to play it with a, a Jeffrey Boycott straight bat any chance you might edge one into the slips today and give us some info <laughs> like it he didn't do that many times did he <laughs> he left it quite well uh, I'm just thinking as I was coming down, Tim. I was just thinking, what questions you're going to ask me? I thought Ollie McBurney was going to be first, transfers was going to be second, Arsenal was going to be third. So you've you've obviously switched that around a bit, <laughs> and I've gone with different approaches, haven't I? I've gone with a completely blank you on, um, uh, giving you a little bit of information about you know only talk about it when the scarf's up and those those really awful photos that you have of a manager shaking hands with uh, incoming players. Uh, I'm quite interested, uh, you know, I study quite a lot of the managers and I think Nigel Pearson came up with one uh, this week in terms of he'll only talk about business done when business is done. I thought that was brilliant, so I'll use that one this week. <laughs> Try and use another one next week and hopefully January soon passes and, uh, and we've got our players in uh, and we can talk about it then. 
So you're not edging anything into the slips? No, you? completely leaving things, every, anything outside that off stump, it's getting left. Are you making headway though? <clears throat> yeah, we are, yeah. Yeah, obviously it's, it's picked up um, and uh, I think a lot of things ha- have picked up in the, fo- in the football world over the last sort of three or four days and I'm sure it'll ramp itself up uh, over the next sort of dozen days. And Ollie McBurney. Here we go. <laughs> what did you make of it on Sunday? Did you have a, an issue with it? Have you spoken to him? Yeah, I have, yeah. Obviously, um, uh, we, we received a, a letter from the FA, uh, you know, uh, sort of talking about uh, Ollie's future conduct, which which is quite right, I believe. Um, they're red hot on stuff like that, so for them not to take any any other action, I think, speaks volumes for, for, for what it was. I can relate. Um, there was a time where, when I was a player at other clubs and I was a manager uh, at other clubs that I would rush back to, to Sheffield to, to go and watch United or, or, or away from home. I think the other little bit apart uh, uh, in, the, in the sort of um, the, the issue, I've had a word with Ollie, but I've got no problem with him going to watch Swansea. There's an obvious connection. I've talked about it. Is, you know, there's, a, there's a big, big connection from when he was a young player guy down there uh, in terms of you know, taking his family down there how he integrated in, in, into the way of life of, of, uh, of, of, of that football club uh, and made many great friends and he's talked about that and I've got no problem. I think it's quite refreshing at times that he wants to go and watch games of football and wants to be involved in football. I think people have talked about that. We've just had a word with him on, 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 on the other bit. Yeah, I should imagine he got plenty uh, at, uh, at, that, at that game. Um, <clears throat> He, he, he didn't really uh, go in camouflage disguise. Uh, I'm not mentioning the maker jacket. I think that's already been made. Uh, uh, quite uh, people talked about it. It's something that I wouldn't wear. He managed it, in his opinion, to carry it off. Um, but I said, I think I, you know I can relate to him. But we've we've talked about it. You know, he has a responsibility as a footballer, especially with social media and cameras everywhere, that he can't get involved. Uh, he must represent himself more than anything a touch better and he, he, he understands that um, but as far as I'm concerned we, we move on the boys in form got the win out it was, a, it was a big weekend for him said maybe a touch getting carried away I think as well though you know as I said going down to watch his, watch his team I, I'm, 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 I'm okay with that Yeah, I suppose it is ever I mean, you know, striking jackets notwithstanding, as a Premier League footballer, you're always on camera, aren't you? Even in an away end with tens of thousands of other people. I think you're on camera everywhere now. It's it's amazing we've seen from a personal point of view, you know, the coverage that the, the, the Premier League gets, you know. Um I think it it, it exposes everybody. Um you now everybody's got a standard to set, yeah, we understand that. Um and uh we're representing ourselves and our and, and our football club, but the exposure and media exposure and uh, what what the Premier League gets and it goes into every everybody's front room and everybody knows everybody. So uh, and I said especially, I'm just just so glad that <laughs> there weren't cameras about when I was playing football. <laughs> uh, and uh, you know I met up with a few of the old boys in in the week and we talked about that um, and. Uh, and stuff that boys do obviously boys do uh, changing tack uh, Tim's mentioned about incomings what about outgoings have, have the wheels turned there at all with the, the um, likes of Leon Clark yeah there's, there's there's obvious interest you know I think the, the, the quicker for, for those boys sakes the likes of Kian and, 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 and Leon obviously Richard went last last week I uh, thought he did a fab, fabulous job for us Andy Uh didn't play as much football last year, but I think you've seen um, the connection between him and the supporters. Um, end of season scenes, which were caught on camera, um, enjoying himself, being involved in a promotion, uh, winning side. Um, his contribution to that to that team in 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 the two two and a half years, our football club's been great. But yeah, from Richard's point of view, he went with our blessing and thank him for for, for his efforts. Um, and we will do with, with Leon. Um, obviously, Kean's uh, this opportunity for him to go out on loan. Uh, ben Hennigan went out this week. Uh, Jake Wright's been back from Bolton and will go out this uh, this window as well. So, I think from 
from tidying all the business up, I think you know the quicker those those bits get done, uh, the better is for 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 them and for me, and then we can concentrate on the group that's going to take us through to the end of the season. With regard to Clark as the more senior or the most senior of some of those players, would that be? A situation where he's paid up and then allowed to go, would it be a loan? How how could it work? Yeah, there's, there's, there's two there's two sort of options. You know, we we could come to a, an agreement and a settlement on his uh, compromise on his contract, or a, a club comes up comes in for him and uh, and wants to take him on loan. So obviously the financials will done be done with uh, with the chief exec and Carl Sheba and. Uh, but it's important from for Leon that you know he, he gets gets some football. I think. Uh, yeah, he's been outstanding for us in, in, in my time here. I think he's a perfect January signing for somebody, and I'm sure he, he will be. And he'll, he'll he'll add and put value to a to a team in the next three three or four months and going forward. Has anything concrete, definite happened regarding Sharp? I know there's been a raft of speculation. You've answered questions about it before, but has anything gone beyond the stage where it's just, you know? Noise in the media. No, example. another. I had another another chat with Billy this week as well. Again, and uh, I mentioned another club that was that made an inquiry, and and yet again, not surprised. As, as I said last week, I think you know we're looking always to uh, other groups and who's not playing, and who might be ab- available. So you always ask the question, and and quite rightly so. A, a lot of clubs have asked the question, and my my stance hasn't changed. Um, from from what I've said at the start, to what I'm saying now is that it's always Billy's choice what what happens and uh, between now and the end of the season. Um, so you know we're not we're not uh, unless something happens from an injury point of view. We're, you know I'm I'm happy with the forwards I've got. I've got five forwards. We play two up top. Everybody knows that. So two they're all fit. Two two off the bench and one who's trying to get into the into the group. So, um, but I won't leave myself light as well. Um, but from from Billy's point of view, you know the decision is is his. And has he indicated to you his thoughts? So whether whether he wants to stay, he's happy to ride this season out or or, or go. I suppose has he given any indication? Well, I think if he'd have given an indication, then that would have happened with the amount of amount of calls that we've had. So his his uh, his message to me is that he wants to he wants to stay. You can never. Say never, you know. If somebody comes in and offers him a two, two and a half, three and a half year deal, and he looks at it and he thinks, I've got to take that deal, then um, then we will facilitate that. But nobody's done that at the moment. Um, I've not had any calls off anybody. Billy's not come to see me. You know, there is a, there is a, there is always, you know, um, a way to get into to Billy through the through the back door. I I understand that. That's the way the way football works. But he's he's been up front with me, and, and I, I can I can say that I've 100% been up front with him. When uh, when we've discussed contract talks that you've been having with players, I know Lundstrom was the the headline, but you've said that there's a couple of others as well. I suppose with John and the others, has that rolled on at all? Yeah, ongoing. Um, I think it's always difficult to for, to get players to sign in in, in January, maybe um, through. Um, through a thought process by somebody else that gets that is attached to them, uh, are the agents playing and making fun here? Possibly so. <laughs> um, uh, I should imagine there'll be a lot more conversation uh, when the window shuts on February the first uh, uh, arrives. Uh, and uh, so I'm, I'm I'm relaxed about it. It's a really good club, you know. Obviously, I committed uh, last week. Um, and delighted to do that, and uh, and hopefully the boys will will follow uh, in, uh, in in my path. Players, yeah, players might be reticent to do it this month, but the fact that they know the manager's sticking around for a, a long time does that does that help? Because you can say, well, we want to do this. You never know. <laughs> yeah. Am I good the other way? <laughs> I'm off. He signed. I'm off. <laughs> but does it help? It must. If obviously, well, perhaps not in these circumstances. Does that help you? Because uh, you know uh, your future is secure. Yeah, I think that's obviously a question for them to to, to answer. But yeah, I think that it, it does give stability to to everything. Um, but they've they've got to make that decision, and they've got to look after their own careers. Um, I've always said I, I I believe players should take. Ownership more of their careers than than uh, than maybe at times times they do, 
Um, but um, I've got no problems, no problems with agents, pretty comfortable with where we are. Um, they're all, we're all protected, you know, there's, uh, there's nobody out of, out of contract uh, at the end of the season that we don't want to offer or want to keep and be a part of um, hopefully what's going to go forward. Arsenal and the victory at Bramall Lane, I wonder how significant that might have been for the players' psychology because they turned over a top six team. Yeah, I thought it was big at the time. Um, it was a tight game as, as we would have expected it to be. And regardless of what the impression of, of, of Arsenal it is, they're they still you know world class players, world class manager at the time. You know somebody had done outstandingly well in different countries, but I think that just shows how difficult the Premier League is. I think it was a Monday night, Monday night in Sheffield, a little bit windy and, and, and whatever, and uh, it was it was our night, and I was delighted for everybody. And yeah, it was a marker for us, as always. Talk about belief. Um, experiences, learning, um, but we've still got to play at the top of our game to get a result on on, on Saturday. You know, still nothing really changes uh, from the personnel point of view. You've got world class players, but you know, are they more organised? Well, they certainly. Well, what I've seen so far since Mikel's come in, and you know, uh, obviously tipped, and I'm sure will be uh, an outstanding manager, and you know. I have made a, uh, a, 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 a fantastic uh, appointment. Um, you could just see his desire. At, you know, when he was even an assistant manager, it was it was shining through. Uh, and certainly now, uh, as 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 a number one, I'm sure they will. Um, whether it's this season or not, it's obviously a difficult season. When you first go into a football club, you've got a lot a lot of jobs to do, a lot of working working outs to do, and getting getting in and seeing what works and what doesn't and and who's going to be on the journey? But uh, but I'm sure they'll finish the season strong, and uh, and certainly will be a force when uh, when the manager's had a full pre-season and uh, uh, and, and another window to go at um, because they're uh, a, a, an historic and, and, a, and a powerful top four football club in in uh, in this country. I wonder then if they are still in this well transitional stage. Then he's just getting his feet under the table, etc. This isn't a bad time to go to the Emirates then. Well, you, you 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 never know. You can look at it both ways. You know, our players playing for the futures. You know, under 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 the manager. You know, I would be asking that question: Who wants to stop here, or who wants to go? And it is a, it is uh, an absolutely fabulous football club, brilliant stadium. You know, serial winners of the Premier League a few years ago, and you know, not everybody's always in transition, are they? And, uh, and some clubs are at this moment so uh, we'll only know uh, when we get there on, on, on the day how, how they rock up um, I'm just you know I'm I said I'm very no, I'm critical of, of my team always and I think that's that's the way I've always been and always look as I said in isolation at, at, at my team and my team's performance but then at times you take a slight step back and go, well, we're six in the division. We just turned West Ham over, who are just coming off a you know a, a bounce of a, new, of a new manager in the tight game. Played better second half, and we're doing all right. So I, I believe I know what I'm going to get from my team as well, and uh, and, and hopefully they produce a, another solid performance, um, and um, and can you know sort of kickstart our away record. It's took a couple of hits recently, um, understandably at Manchester City and Liverpool. Um, but uh, you know we're back back now, and we, we're into into the game in London on on, on Saturday, and, and hopefully we can get something from it. And uh, post West Ham, is everybody all right? Just finally from me on on the injury front. Yeah, they are. Yeah, um, they all come through that game. So obviously eventful eventful finish, and I genuinely did. Um, I think you saw my body language afterwards. From from saw David afterwards, and had a drink with him afterwards, and. Uh, you know, we've had that's happened to us, um, and obviously it was a talking point over the weekend, and and this is you know my point, the talking point over the weekend on everything concerning that game was um, was Declan and John coming together, um, and not Sheffield United winning the game of football, and us being in the top six, um, which I think everybody wants to talk about what happens in, in from a results point of view and 
and are they struggling or are they doing okay and he's playing well and he ain't playing well and they might be signing him not the the uh, the bits and pieces that we seem to uh, be dominated by uh, by by VAR. Ta. Anybody else? I've got to, you know, on anything from Saturdays. <coughs> <coughs>